Hi everyone, this is Charmaine from Fantastic Crafts. I hope everyone of you are having a wonderful day. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be screen recording how to out images from Mamie's website. Um, she has SVG files for some of her um, uh, some of her stamp sets, so I will be showing you that. So to start off, I uh, go to her website, which is maymaymadeit.com, and I in the search box, I uh, search for the specific image I am looking for, the specific uh, SVG I'm looking for. So I wanted this uh, power flower, and when you search for that, you will see a link that comes up, or a blog post that will come up, and then you will see a link. And what you do is you click on that download link and you save that SVG file to whichever location you feel like you can easily find it. I have a specific um, folder um, for all my um, SVG files from Maymay store so I created that and then I, I saved it onto that folder. Then you can just go ahead and uh, close this window or minimize it, whichever one you would prefer. Then you open up your Cricut um, website uh, and you type in your password and login, or I'm sorry, your login information, so your uh, username and your password. Once you have done that, you will be taken to the uh, actual um, the Cricut homepage and that's where you can start uploading your images. So this is the Cricut um, login page. So you go there and you simply just start uh, creating a project. So you just go to the home screen on the left right there and you go to create a project. Um, as you can see right there that plus sign is create a new uh, project or new item um, and then you click on upload you go on upload uh, you click on that upload button and then you go and search for that file now because I had it saved in that specific folder it was very easy for me to locate this SVG file and I would recommend doing that too and then you have it there it's all there if you want to change the name which I kind of changed a little bit of the name but it's very simple you just change the name you edit it to whichever one you want and then you click save you can also uh, put any kind of tags and tags are pretty much if you want to search for it using those tags from your Cricut uh, images then it's easier for you to go ahead and do that and I did do a few tags just so I can easily find this and this is a one-time thing once you have it uploaded it's always there because it's an iCloud system it's always just there for you so once you put uh, put whatever tags you want you just click on save and there you have it your SVG file is uploaded it is that simple so I go back and I create uh, I would uh, click on the plus sign to create that uh, project now. I go to images and um, it will, it's loading right now, but it will show you all the Cricut images that Cricut has as well as all the images you have. So then I um, click on upload it. You have a, a way to filter it to just upload it. And when I click on that, you can see all my uploaded files are there. And so I have my um, image that I just uploaded on here. And then all you do, this is probably the most complicated part, but it's not that complicated. All you do is you go up to the top and this is a four by six stamp set so all you have to do is make sure the measurements are four by six so either you put four or uh, six and it's one thing you do have to remember is that Im the image is locked so on the left there on the bottom left you'll see a lock sign and make sure that's locked and then all you do is make sure it's four by six and then you can hit the the 
cut now file or button and then it will cut your project now I did want to show one more thing when you click on it this is what shows up it will cut individually like this what I like to do is I like to select all of it so I just select the whole file um, and then I click on um, attach and then when you do that the uh, your cut file you can't see it here because it's black on black but um, all it just it cuts for you just like it is on the screen right now now you can just cut it out just like it is right now um, it will cut out just fine but because of this video I wanted to make sure you are able to see how it exactly cuts out so I just made sure that image was uh, white and then I put uh, make sure I have an eight, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper so I did that and also I wanted to cut out as many as I could on one eight and a, um, eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock so what I did was I just uh, times it by three and changed my paper size to it just automatically goes to 12 by 12 so you have to change it and then I simply just placed my images where I wanted them and on Cricut when those three dots right there you can move that image uh, or the SVG file back to another mat so I just moved it back and I placed it right there on the right there and then I simply used it to cut out my file and it cut out beautifully it was perfect and just the way I wanted it Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Um, this was my first time doing a screen recording and a voiceover, so I really appreciate all of your patience. And thank you, thank you so much for all your support and all your comments. And it really, really does make me happy. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the uh, bell just so you can get notification every time I do upload a video. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I hope this video was helpful. Bye!